Hey, it's Kevin Tovel with GigaOM. I'm almost done with my written review of the Chromebook Pixel. That's going to be coming soon on GigaOM. But what I wanted to do today is show everybody something because I'm getting this question an awful lot. The question is, what do you do when you need like an actual app? What do you, how do you manage that? I mean, I do podcasts, I do videos, obviously, and I can't really do that with a web app, although I have found a few options out there that I'm exploring right now. A native app, though, really comes in handy, so how do you do that? It turns out that with the Chromebook Pixel and even some of the other Chrome OS devices, it's actually easy to put this into developer mode and run an alternative operating system. Now, what you can do is get an operating system such as Linux and run it on a, on a USB key, just plug it in here and boot into that. But what I've chosen to do is not dual boot because that makes me choose Chrome OS or Linux. What I've done instead is I've used a set of scripts found uh, or created by some Googlers called Crouton. And what Crouton does, it's really neat, it takes about 15 minutes to set up, but once it's set up, you're actually able to run Chrome OS and switch into Linux at the same time you're running Chrome OS. You can go back and forth between the two different platforms. It's very easy to do, and it makes this device quite a bit more extensible. You can do a lot more with it because now you've got third-party apps, providing you can find Linux alternatives for what you use on Mac or Windows. Let's take a look, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so now that we've got the script set up so that we can get into Linux at the same time we're running Chrome OS, let me show you what it looks like and how to do it. Um, here I could be, you know, just through my workday, listening to music on Amazon, for example. And it's working fine. This is just the standard Chrome OS. I'm looking at uh, TweetDeck and TechMe. I've got a blank tab here. So how do I switch? All right. All I have to do is open up a terminal first, which is Control-Alt-T and then type two commands, shell and sudo start xfce4, and the magic should happen. There it is, there's Linux, there's the Chromium browser I was using earlier. I've got a couple apps open here. Let me just type in a password for a second. All right, and for example, I've got Audacity here. Audacity is the app I use for video, I'm sorry, for audio recording for our podcast each week. And what I could do, I can import files, I could mix them like I normally do, just like I do on my Macs or my Windows machines. We could even, let me see, is it uh, everything working there? We could be recording right now, so I could record a podcast, save it locally, do all my exporting and such, just to make sure that really worked. Let's play it back be recording right now so I can record a pod. Works just like it would on any other platform. Perfect. Uh, what else do I have? I've got Skype. Let me log in. Hopefully I typed that correctly. And the neat thing I've noticed about Skype is because Linux is running at the same time as WebOS, and to get back I actually just hit um, Control Alt and back arrow. Here I am, that's my tab that I had open before, but there you can see I'm still in WebOS, I can still uh, do whatever I need to do. But you just heard Skype just logged back in. So if I go back to Linux, here I am, I'm logged in, and hopefully if my son wants to earn his, uh, his uh, money for the month here, he's gonna give me a call. I don't see him though, where is he? There he is. He's supposed to call me. Let me call him, and we can even do a video call. You'll notice everything is a little small here. That's because it's all running at the full resolution. Do, 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 start call. All right, it says it's connecting. He's not gonna get his allowance if he doesn't answer. You can hear, obviously, it's working. Sound is fine, let's check out the video camera. If he picks up, that is. Hey! Oh, Dad. What up? I oh, was just watching some Walking Dead. It's a great channel. Walking Dead. I'm going to check something out while you're doing that. Walking Dead. What's that about? Uh, it's about this uh, cop who gets um, injured in a uh, well, while he was like on his duty. And when he gets out of the hospital, he realizes that the majority of humanity has turned into zombies and he's trying to survive. Mm, you said and duty. Ha ha ha. Yes, I, I yeah. just said duty. Hey, can you see me right now? I cannot, no. You can't see me? No, oh. I see your little uh, picture. Oh, so what happens is then it switches me, switches my camera off, I guess. Or did you never see me? I never did see you. Oh, well, hold on a second. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, hello there. <laughs> hey, that oh. guy. 
I won't get you on. Hey, hang on a second. Now I want to see if I switch back. Can you still see me? Are you switched back? Yes, I am. I can still see you. See, now that's really cool because I'm actually in WebOS even though I'm talking to you on Skype and Linux at the same time. So I could be getting work done and I could say, really, you're watching, what is it, Walking Dead? Yeah. Hmm. It's on AMC and it's probably, the, from the sounds of it, it's something you probably should be watching, especially what I'm seeing right now. Hmm. Hmm. It's no different than like Xbox. <laughs> I suppose. I suppose. Well, I just switched back so I can see you now, but I'll deal with Walking Dead later, I guess, so. All right. <laughs> this is really cool. I can talk to you, see you, you can see me, I can still get out into the other environment and do other things. And still do, uh, what, yeah, whatever your Google Chrome can do. Wicked cool. Sweet. All right, and you earned your allowance by picking up the call just now, by the way. Oh, nice. Yes. All right. I'll talk to you later, dude. Later, Dad. Bye. Well, there you go. So that works just as I had thought it would. And heck, I mean, anything I need to do that I can't do in, in Chrome OS, I could do here, provided I have the uh, right applications. And I haven't installed too many other than Audacity, Skype, and uh, well, VLC Media Player. OpenShot is a video editor, open source that I haven't used yet, but it looks like that'll work for my, uh, my video reviews, such as this one. So that's pretty cool. Um, I guess, I wonder, could I actually record? The timeline is empty. I haven't used this too much yet. I'm looking into my video options. So in any case, um, there's Linux. You saw me going back and forth. The way I was doing that was Control alt back arrow on the keyboard. And I'm now back in Chrome OS. And if I Control alt right arrow and then refresh, I'm right back in here in Linux and doing everything I want to do. I can check my weather. Oh, it was working. Where's my weather? Sometimes there is a little bit of a lag. I have access to the whole file system. So that's all good. Um, I mean, really, you've got a whole option, a range of options now because you've got third-party apps on the Chromebook Pixel. And the nice thing is you can switch back and forth to Chrome OS and Linux. I don't see a major performance hit. and it's just, it's really that easy. Once you get the script set up, which really doesn't take much time, a couple commands and boom, you're in. So there you go. That is Linux and Chrome OS on the Chromebook Pixel. Getting things done.